on 17th of September. So I will open one live test. Uh, it will be a live test. So on 17th September, I will open the test at 9 a.m. And it will remain open till 1 p.m. So it will total remain open for four hours. Okay. And in this four hour slot, you can give the exam anytime. So total exam will be three hour time. Okay. So questions, there will be 60 questions in the exam and there will be 180 minutes means three hours. You already know. And the negative marking will be there. There will be MCQs and there will be MSQs and there will be NAT. The level of the exam will be mixed. So some questions will be difficult. Some questions will be easy. It will be a mix of all the sort of situation. There will be two separate exams, one for BSc students and one for MPC students. You can see the test in your course itself. You will be able to see on that day. It will be on complete mathematical physics. So we will be having this test like this test for every subject. Now the purpose of this test is to give you the exam like environment because in the last year I felt that my, some of my students were very brilliant enough and they missed the rank by few marks means they, they qualified the exam, but they missed the ranks. Uh, and it was very unfortunate. At least eight of my last year students missed the IIT by just 50 ranks means their rank was something around 550 to 700. So if they would have got like 200, 300 better rank, then they would be in a very top IIT. And when I analyzed this, uh, I realized that, okay, the purpose this happened was they were okay by on giving the online exam at their own time. And, but they were not ready for the online exam given at a very specific amount of time on a very fixed date. So they were not uh, used to the exam environment. So this year I have decided that, okay, my every student should be used to the exam environment. Now, how to anticipate for that test? Give your 100%. Try it. Assume that this is your actual exam. Uh, and think that, okay, I have to score very good. And this, whatever I score in this, the same I'm going to score in my actual exam. It is gate, net, just whatever. Okay. So think like whatever percentage I'm scoring in this exam, I will be scoring in that. All the questions are new questions. And... Uh, once the test is done, you submit the test, answer key will not be available right away. You will not be able to see your score right away. Just like other exams, where all the exams you give, uh, you submit and you can immediately see your score. You can immediately see your answers, solutions, everything, but not for this. So you will not be able to see the answers immediately or your uh, results immediately. Results will be published one day later. So that you actually feel, feel the thing, right? How you are going to feel on that day. On that day, you are going, you are not going to get the result immediately after you give the exam. Okay. And then you have to go through the entire process. You will be discussing the questions with your, uh, with your friends and so on, whatever you want to do, you will be doing that. And then you, that will be a whole set of environment. That entire day will be like an exam day for you. Okay. So I want that you come prepared and how you can prepare for this life test. One more thing before I come to that. If you miss this life test, let's say you, you miss it. So after one week means after seven days, I will completely open this test means then after that time, you can give it any time. Then you can give any time, but uh, that will not give you exam like environment, but still you can give it any time because of whatever reasons, if you miss this test. Uh, then this will be, you can give it later. Now the situation that we are going to have that, how you prepare for it. So very basic thing. First thing which I have done is that I have uploaded it. Formula sheet in your respective courses. If you go to mathematical physics section in the end of that, you will see the formula sheet of mathematical physics. This formula sheet is taken from Oxford University, Oxford Press. So Oxford Press publication. Now they have a very good set of formulas and all of the formulas that are in our syllabus is also in that. Second of all, first of all, you can refer this if you need. This is not mandatory. But second, revise all the class slides. 
whatever class slides i have given you revise that if you have already made the notes out of them let's say your your notes are ready and you are a person who has made the notes then revise your notes revise your notes means all the formulas that are in your notes should be in your memory on that day you cannot open the notes it is not allowed it is like an actual exam you sit there with the water bottle you sit there with the uh, pen and paper and sheet that's it nothing else okay so you sit there and uh, memorize all the notes all the formulas and that is your some a good check that in the exam can you recall the formulas that you need because giving the test by looking at the formulas uh, that will actually be able you will be able to see so revise class slides uh, or your notes number 3 number 3 is all pyq quizzes whatever pyq quizzes i have given you complete each and every question for that uh, either it is net gate just iit jam whatever pyqs are there just do each and every question again or if you if you are comfortable with any set of questions then don't do it but at least do the good revision and whatever quizzes are left give them then fourth before that time complete all the topic wise quizzes so for each topic you have got the quiz so make sure that once you give this live test before this live test not even a single uh, quiz should be left and the idea behind this is that if you do this what what is your benefit you can think that on 17 september when you are giving this exam you can think your 10% of syllabus is done if you pick up any of the exam 10% is asked from mathematical physics it means you can give it in the written that okay my 10% of the preparation of any exam is done whether it is iit jam or it is just or net or gate whatever so 10% of your preparation is done that is something you should be well aware, you should be able to say on 17th of september okay so that is only four things that you should focus on not even a single thing uh, if you have somehow missed doing assignments i have also given you assignments uh, i would say keep them on the side basis you can you can if first priority should be these four things even if you want more practice then you can come back to assignment but i would say even if you miss some questions of assignment doesn't matter as long as you are completing this four tasks that your your thing should be done okay and uh, now what i would say is that in exam let's say you go in an exam so first of all the syllabus someone is asking is mathematical physics it's full mathematical physics okay for msc students the syllabus will be till csr net part c greens function everything everything whatever is in csr net till part c starting from very beginner level going till part c and for bsc students it is till just syllabus whatever is till just just syllabus it is that part okay and uh, now let's say you approach the exam how do you approach the exam how do you approach so let's practice this thing from the very from now onwards because once we go and sit in an exam we do not face any problem i do not want this year that even one student is not comfortable with the actual environment of the exam i want every student is comfortable with that environment okay and what what is the things that we have to do number 1 number 1 uh, arrange chair and desk that is your responsibility arrange chair and desk and i am telling you do not do the jugad don't do the jugad okay don't do like this your your chair and desk should have good internet so that your internet connectivity does not stop okay and then also it should be comfortable so that it does not give you back pain trust me by the middle of the exam if you start getting back pain then you will not be able to complete the exam so be a, have a comfortable position where your back is completely relaxed you are sitting and you can sit at that position for 3 hours you you cannot hear me guys 
Hello? You can you can yes, hear sir, me. Yes, sir. You right? can hear you. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. There was one person saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that is number one condition. Okay, these things are very important because I know when I used to give my mock test, sometimes what happened is I was used to, used to give it on my uh, my bed because I used to give in January. January is a very cold. In Punjab, January is very cold. So you are sitting in a like blanket and so on. You are giving and middle of the exam, your back starts pain, and then you cannot focus more. Then I I I wasted two three mock just like that. So don't do that mistake. Okay. Second, try to be in a uh, close, proper close. Like you are going for an exam. Like uh, like you are you are getting ready. You are going and then sit on your position and make sure no one disturbs you. No one disturbs you. You sit there. and then comes that once you enter it your exam enters you start your exam how to approach number 1 let's say question number 1 came always give the test in a symmetry do not try to become like okay i will start from back or i will start from middle or no no start from question number 1 okay if you think that question number 1 is difficult you have not seen such question but if you will try this maybe you are able to solve this you have not seen such question but if you try maybe you will be able to solve do not try this is not a, this is not something you are practicing this test is not a practice test you are not doing trying here in an exam in an actual exam you never try if you do not know any question just leave it if you think that if i will try and i will be able to solve even then leave it okay second question there will be question and then your eyes will be sparkled oh i know that this formula will be useful in this i know i have done similar question in my assignment or somewhere else do this question this is for you do this and then once you do it there are two possibilities number 1 you will get to an answer and number 2 you will be stuck you will not get to an answer the moment you are stuck moment you are stuck for 10 seconds just for 10 seconds you are stuck close your eyes and read the question again just with a very calm head read the question again read the options again if you are still stuck move to the next question but if you get your answer do not very immediately put let's say you got a do not put a first make sure that why is your b option wrong why is your c option wrong why is your d option wrong for example i you got something like this uh, you got this answer in mathematical physics i told you find the solution of your differential equation you got this okay and then you see that your in second option it was this was the option and then you immediately see oh am i missing my op two here because these are the silly mistakes that happen you immediately in in after third step you stopped writing this half because we are in hurry and we stop writing constants and in the third step i stopped writing this half and in fourth step i got a fifth option i got and in the last i got my answer e just minus t into t and you will think okay option a is correct just tick it tick it and move forward but when you will see the option 2 you will realize okay there is half also then this half will come back to your mind ye this half will okay yeah there was one half so this will avoid any silly mistakes if you do not know the question it's fine if you do not know the question it's fine i agree then it means it means the exam is tough no one will be knowing that question or maybe you have not covered that syllabus but if you knew the question if you solved the question and you did it wrong that is a curse you cannot afford that <laughs> that costed you money uh, time as well as uh, your marks and that is a curse you cannot do this in exam you knew the question you solved the question you got the answer and that answer came out to be wrong that is something i will not tolerate and you should also not tolerate so make sure whenever you put a b c d is wrong only then put a okay and now after second question you are done with your second question then you come to third question again same step is it something i have done already or is it new if it is new and simple do it 
but if it is new when you think okay maybe if i will try i will be able to do it don't don't try don't try too much in an exam there will be 60 questions if you will do 40 questions correct just come out of the exam you are going to be top ranked so those 20 questions don't try them try them after the exam for your next exam <laughs> but do not try to do innovations in that exam your target should be very clear if you have 60 questions you cannot set a time limit for every question it means 3 minutes for each question but this is not how exam works it basically means after every 30 minutes you will see your watch there is a watch in your screen do not wear your own watch because in an actual exam mostly watches are not allowed so do not wear your own watch there will be live watch in your exam screen there will be scientific calculator in your screen everything will be there okay so it is just my my portal is just similar to nta portal whatever you are going to get on this we we did too much spend too much money to make it as same as nta okay so take a benefit of that so whatever you are going to get uh, means 30 minutes after 30 minutes you will look at your clock and you will see are you done with 10 questions or not 10 questions means 1 to 10 you have done five questions and you left five questions but you are done with five questions right means you are done from 1 to 10 it means you can move forward so after every 30 minutes you should be able to make sure that you are getting 10 10 uh, questions that is the entire idea if you are able to solve 10 questions in every 30 minutes you should maintain that speed and if you will try to maintain this speed trust me your exam will be done at 2 hours exactly i am giving this time very exact 2 hours 25 minutes to 2 hours 35 minutes okay starting from 2 hours 25 minutes to 2 hours 35 minutes your exam will be done in between this time if you will try to maintain this okay so if you will try to maintain this your exam will be done in remaining 30 40 minutes you will have for yourself then do your innovations and how do you do innovations so when you were leaving the questions when you were leaving the questions before leaving you should have two options in front of you let's say you are leaving some question okay if you are leaving this question it then it basically means if you think that you if you will try then you can solve this you have this feeling in your mind whenever you see question let's say you are for you are you are afraid of fourier transform then you have that feeling in mind even if you i will try this i may not be able to solve this question do not put these kind of questions for review do not put these kind of questions for review but if you think if i will try this question this is something new question i have but if i will try this maybe i will be able to solve this okay so then what you will do is you will put this question for review and in the last 20 to 30 minutes you will come back to this review questions and honestly if you have out of 60 if you have already solved 35 questions then your mindset will be okay let's do 5 6 more and then in the last 30 minutes or 25 minutes you will be able to at least do five more questions because in a calm mind your mind works very well and in the last 20 25 minutes you will be able to solve many five or six more questions now some people say uh, about doing what you can say uh, random marking okay so the the general rule is if you do not know the four or uh, any of the four options leave this question but if you have doubt in a or c option then tick any you have 50% probability that it will be correct or 50% it will be wrong fraud fraud this is a fraud scheme if you tick mark the question only if you know the answer that's it that is the basic golden rule if you are confused between two options leave that question because whatever you are going to put you are going to get negative mark i can give you in return you can do the negative you can do the uh, random marking in nat that i will come to but in msq mcq only put that question as option correct which you 100% sure that this is correct do not do random marking at all okay If, because this is not a, think of it is like an actual exam but don't 
just do it random because it is okay even if i do not get a good marks what is going to happen things are going to happen this is going to become your habit and then you are not going to overcome your habit in an actual exam so don't try to score too much think that this is an exam put up by iit and i need to score 55 to 60 marks that's it and if your exam is good it is under your radar then you can score more than 60 okay so that is an idea that i have so once your ms mcq is done then comes the msq now in msq if there are 10 msq from my experience i can tell if you can score four msq correct it means your preparation is good because in msq what happens is somehow you miss the options so in msq what happens is let's say you have four options a b c and d let's say b and c are correct if you put only b correct you get zero marks if you correct a correct you get zero marks you will get full marks only when you put b and c both correct that is the basic rule if b and c are correct you will get marks only if you put b and c both correct okay so in msq usually some kind of msq are there are two three kind of msq number one is uh, option matching so let's say first option is uh, for example first option is can we transform there is there any relation between fourier transform and laplace transform so first option will be means yes there is a relation second there is no relation third option will be relation between fourier transform and laplace transform is this it means if a is correct c can also be correct because if there is a relation then this is the relation okay and four option will be the relation between fourier transform and laplace transform is this so from here you got an idea that is it is an msq it means uh, it there is more chances that two options will be correct sometimes in msq only one is also correct okay but mostly what happens is that uh, there are more than one correct so you know that if you put no then first got wrong second got third got wrong and fourth got wrong so that is less likely it means your second option is wrong and first option is correct now you have to decide which of them is correct what is the relation between fourier and laplace so you definitely know that a is going to be correct b is going to be wrong and then c or d one will be correct because both cannot be correct either the relation will be this or relation will be this so think about these two that which of them can be correct based on the knowledge of the mathematics that you have this is the one kind of question second is if option a is correct then option c will definitely be correct and if option b is correct then d will be correct so either a and c will be correct or b and d will be correct third is all four options are telling the different physics and then you have to check all the four i usually avoid this kind of episodes if all the four options are telling me something else then what i usually try to do is i do not solve because uh, even if i am able to get a b and c correct and i am not able to get d correct i am going to get zero marks all the time which i will spent on abc will be wasted so usually i like to keep these kind of questions in the end even if i know the answers because i value my time more than my knowledge in the exam if you value your time more than your knowledge in an exam only then you are going to go score good so value your time more than your knowledge more than your knowledge okay so this is the idea that you have to follow in an actual exam if you have knowledge of some question but if you think that this is going to cost you a lot of time please keep it till end you can put it for review okay and then try to solve four or five good msq and then move on in the end you will get nat in nat first of all whenever you have a page you will have a page like this when you start solving nat make a line here good enough line and then whenever you are solving something let's say in order to find something you need two more things so when you get an uh, value of this thing okay let's say you, you i'm in general telling you let's say in order to find acceleration you need uh, force and mass this is a very simple example so let's say you did some steps and you found out the force 
then write the value of force and then you are finding the mass then write the value of mass okay why i am why you are doing this because you can cross check because you should know that in this entire question this much part is for calculation of force this much part is for calculation of m and then here i am doing my final calculation to get to the answer so be very organized with your sheets uh, you can do this kind of lining and those things before the exam so when you sit for the exam sit for the exam with 10 a4 sheets cardboard and two pen that's it nothing else you need you cannot use your own calculator you have to use the calculator given in the laptop or your mobile phone okay you can only use that it will be best if you give the test on laptop because in actual exam you are going to get on laptop but if you do not have laptop you can also give on phone that's not a problem that is not going to make a much difference okay so that is some something you have so in nat be very organized with your calculations make sure that you do not do your calculations and rough work at the same place people what what happens is i i i what what we do is you are doing something and then you are here here only you are doing multiplication 12 into 26 you are doing and then you are writing so no this 12 into 26 should be done here so that this area remains clean enough so that you can clearly go through your steps any time you want so whatever calculations whatever number mathematics all those things you should be doing it in the side for example let's say you are asked, you are finding this value hc by lambda you are putting the constant value 6.626 you are you crazy why are you putting 6.626 just write 6.6 okay if lambda is given to you as 3.43 okay it write 3.4 so don't do the uh, significant do the significant figures just before putting it okay and then you just do the 10 is for minus 30 don't people write okay 10 is for minus 34 10 is to power 8 don't do like this 10 is for minus 34 plus 8 and okay you know there is a nanometer for so plus 9 that these are the basic things but you should be this this makes your system very clear you have a very clean picture of your question in front of you. otherwise what will happen is you will be you will be lost in this sea once you have to recheck your calculation it's a very 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 panic job because you will be panic that you are wasting your time checking your calculations and doing the calculation is easy checking your calculation is tough so make sure once you are doing the calculation you check every step then and there because you will not be able to come back and check your calculation so once you get to an answer again the same thing let's say they are saying that write the value in micrometer and your answer is coming in millimeter then 100% your answer is wrong do not write 3430 as your answer these kind of answers are very rare in nad answers will be usually between 1 to 100 and most of the times it will be between 0 to 10 oh, sorry 1 to 10 it is from 0 to 100 and mostly it is 0 to 10 but up to 100 it can also go it goes in gate in jam it goes Till hundred, I have seen that these are going. Okay, so make sure that you do that very nice. That is the whole idea. That once you do it, your calculation should come out to be correct. You cannot check your calculations again. If you do not know the answer, since NAT is uh, something which does not give you negative marking, then at least you can guess that if answer can be zero or not. if answer can be zero then put zero there is good chances that it will be correct then check that answer can be one or not if answer can be one put one and if you do not know anything about the answer just put two most of the cases answer is two so in nat you can do the random marking so if it can be zero always put zero and if it can be one always put one if it is not zero or one or you do not know if it can be zero or one then always put two that's a most safe option it gives you more possibility i am not saying that it will work it has worked for me twice that is why i am telling in gate exam i know remember there was lasers question and i just read the question i know knew nothing about it i put two i got marks 
there was one more time i did the same thing i i i just put two i got the marks so two is i think is a good number it works i always used to put two and it works for me so i think you can take that up from me so just put two if you don't know that but don't waste your time thinking that what should i write if it can be zero put zero otherwise put two okay so then your nat is done and in the last 30 minutes that's a very crucial time how you come back to your review questions once you go to your review question let's say you go to your review question and still you cannot solve it then put it for unreview then remove the review from it because otherwise what happens is you will just keep looping up you will again come back to that question that will be not good for you so once you come to review question still you are not able to solve it then just move on from that question put remove the review from there and then uh, in the end when but in the land let's say you have 15 questions for review or 10 questions for review if you will be uh, you have done your study well then four to five questions you will be able to solve in the end as well. okay so before coming to the exam uh, practice some quizzes as i mentioned practice their online calculator practice our online calculator that how it works theek hai excuse me sir yeah tell me sir wo jo aapne time मैनेजमेंट का बताया था कि टू आवर थर्टी फाइव मिनट में कंप्लीट हो जाता है अगर आप ये टाइम मान के चलोगे तो सो तो सर वो स्लाइड एक बार फिर से बता सकते हैं सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज आफ्टर एवरी टेन मिनट्स यू हैव टू चेक सॉरी आफ्टर एवरी थर्टी मिनट्स यू हैव टू चेक आर यू डन विद टेन क्वेश्चन और नॉट आर यू डन विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू टेन इन फर्स्ट थर्टी मिनट आर यू डन विद क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन टू ट्वेंटी इन वन आवर are you done with question number 21 to 30 in 1 hour 30 minutes and then you will see just after 1 hour you will start seeing the jump you will see in every 30 minutes you are solving around 12 to 13 questions because now you are in a you are suitable in exam environment so by the time you will end your exam you will be you will have 25 to 30 minutes left so what you have to do in order you do you do some people what they do is they were doing it last year i can tell you they were doing this they were doing they were checking the time after every question have i done this in 3 minutes or not no no you are wasting your time after every question to see the time no just you you need to maintain your time in an average for 30 minutes your average should be good in 30 minutes if you are able to solve 10 10 10 10 questions then your average is good okay now this is all about how you give the exam once you give the exam once your exam is done uh, do not do anything on that day take the day break okay take the day break discuss the questions with your peers okay i will not be participating in that day but then next day i will be releasing the answer key as well as solutions so that you can check all of your and then i will give you time to challenge any answer if you think that any answer is wrong just let me know i will change the answer and then your final marks will be released just like all the things that happens in a lecture okay and uh, that will happen and that will give you a lecture exam we will repeat this exercise for all the subjects before your exam now some people are asking so let me repeat this step again uh, the question level or the pattern of the exam is there are going to be 60 questions 30, 40 questions will be mcq 10 questions will be msq and 10 questions will be nat if you are a msc student doesn't matter if you are a net aspirant gate aspirant bar aspirant just aspirant whatever you are doing the syllabus is up to net exam so this paper will give you a overall practice for all the exams okay this is a practice of exam it is not a practice of any specific exam okay for specific exams net gate park you are going to get a full test in the end that will be full test okay so for now we are doing is overall practice that how to give the tests okay so that is the whole idea of the uh, exam it will be four hour test means four hour slot from 9 am to 1 pm but you can start any time in between okay you can start any time from 9 am to 10 am and whenever you start your exam will be for 3 hours let's say you start at 9:30 your exam will be over at 
let's say you start at 10 you will your exam will be over at 1 you cannot start more beyond 10 if you start at 12, 10 30 you cannot end your exam by 1 okay so start your exam before 10 you can start anywhere any any time between 10 to 1, 9 to 10 so that your exam is over between 12 to 1 i am giving this one hour extra slot because sometimes what happens is some internet connection is a problem or something like that so we should not face any problem okay you can give this test once once you give this test you submit this test you can review this test but you cannot give this test again okay so so that's all from my side any questions that you have so revision i told you that these are the four things anything you want to know sir ye jo test hoga wo jo course mein enroll kiye hue bacche wohi de sakte hai ya fir sabhi koi yeah yeah it is for course students whatever we have to do yeah this is a exclusive event for our course yeah anything else what can you repeat subject specific i i cannot hear you can someone hear hear him can you repeat sir yes in fact you can buy the course in installments of 2000 each you can pay 2000 now you can pay 2000 after the month installment is definitely there total fees is for them. what is the marking scheme of upcoming test marking scheme I do not get you. 100 marks? Yes, yes, it will happen for every subject. That? Yes. Sir, you have to get a class slide and you have to get a note to you. No, so in our course, we have recorded lectures and uh, we no, also... Eight class. Class slides so the or or wo hote kuch notes bhi likhi thi sab topic ke hote hain yeah 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 to read dono ko prepare karna hai kya eh nahi class slides are more important more important i would say or notes kisi ke assignment mein bahut sare questions hote hain jaise main that is what i said that that is what i said assignment is for long term is for long term. let's say let's say you are gate exam is done now you are preparing for bark right or you are preparing mm. for just so whatever questions are remaining you can do that but the main priority should be quiz pyq that are the two main priorities whatever quizzes i have given small small quizzes 20 question quizzes and pyq quizzes that should be your priority this quiz will give you good amount of questions pyqs will give you good amount of questions that is your priority but uh, assignment is for long term whenever okay. you get time or want to practice just open the assignment and do it okay hello sir excuse me sir yeah sir jaise koi student agar pyq mein enroll hai to wo nahi de sakta hai na exam no, no, this is a full course uh, event. Yeah. Oh, okay, sir. You will be informed, Nitya, that which test is when. Okay. You can think that whenever the subject is done, after 20 days roughly, your exam will be. Okay. So I will remain available from nine to one. If someone faces any connectivity problem or anything, let me know. Okay. I will remain available over the phone and as well as in the group. So I will not be invigilating you. You don't have to turn your cameras on or anything like that. Uh, if you do not give it honestly, that's your mistake. 
uh, it's it's your exam i i i can do it okay so that's the whole thing yes yes in net you can get negative answers it's it's there negative answers in net what happens is read the instructions very carefully are they asking up to two decimal places are they asking up to one decimal are they asking integer what they are asking if they are asking that write the magnitude write the magnitude then make sure that you write the magnitude only if your answer is coming out to be minus 2 but in the question it is written then in the question it is written that you have to write plus 2 if you are confused that okay minus 2 and plus 2 can both be answer always write positive answer if negative and positive both can be possible answers always write positive that will be more in most of the cases will be correct okay if we are in jam yes yes you have to give bsc test in which the syllabus will be jam jest plus tif these three from these three topics the exams your level will be decided syllabus will be for these three. in msc the syllabus is up to csr net which is not the part of just in tf probability theory will be included in the syllabus what probability theory probability i will not keep now it will be for statistical methods okay yeah. whatever we have done in the classes nothing more than that. sir one question sir yeah सर जैसे हमने मैथमेटिकल फिजिक्स के सारे नोट्स बना लिए सारे टॉपिक्स के नोट्स बना लिए अब सर उसको रिवाइज जब रिवाइज करने का उसका सर बेस्ट तरीका क्या है सर ओके वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन आई थिंक द बेस्ट क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट्स से यू हैव द नोट्स यू हैव द नोट्स ऑफ फोरियर ट्रांसफर व्हाट आई यूज्ड टू डू आई हैव नोट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल 6 मिनट्स और 10 मिनट्स रफली i used to do 6 minutes so i i said 6 minutes but 10 minutes if i have 5 pages i will say 10 minutes in those 10 minutes i will do nothing i will not touch my phone i will not touch anything i will just read my notes i will just glance through my notes okay this is the thing this is the thing this is the thing that's it okay sometimes what i used to do is i used to write all the headings let's say first heading is introduction second entering is properties of fourier transform uh, third heading is derivative of fourier transform and so on i write all the headings of my notes and then i close my notes and then i try to repeat this can i am i able to recall what was in the introduction can i, I am i able to recall what is the formula for fourier transform am i able to recall what was the properties of fourier transform am i able to recall what was the derivative of fourier transform if not i will immediately see okay what what am i am forgetting in introduction if i am trying to write the formula of f omega but what exactly i am forgetting am i forgetting this constant 1 by root 2 pi if yes then i will go to the notes and i will see okay this is 1 by root 2 pi then i exactly know what what i am missing in my mind if you will just read it through your mind will never know that at what place you have to focus then in for properties of fourier transform let's say you are not able to recall how to begin so just then just see that beginning okay you begin with the modulation theory okay then you think okay what was modulation Can, uh, am i able to recall if yes then it is fine if not then see what is modulation am i able to see shifting property if yes then otherwise no. okay so that is the thing so that is how you revise you try to recall from the notes that what you remember once that is done then what you do is all the good problems because when you will see the problems in your notes then you will recall okay oh yeah this was a good question oh yeah this was a good question oh yeah, no no this is basic this is basic this is basic but then when you will see okay this is a good question revise that once okay i am done i i i still know how to solve it okay that will give you a new perspective once you will be reading that many new things will come up because every time i read my notes i something new comes up so that that should be the approach once you are done with that this activity should not take you more than one hour once you are done with that 
that you should immediately do your PYQ, your quiz, and then done. You are moved to next part. Okay. So that is it. Always remember, revising your notes should not take you more than one. Hour. If it is taking more than one hour, the only thing is you have started making new notes. If you make notes from notes, then it is not good. So then what will happen is a big issue will happen. You can make a small sheet that, okay, in this note, I'm forgetting this thing again and again. So let's write all the things which I'm forgetting again. That is okay. Okay. Also, Mir, Mir, you are asking that CSN at course only. Yes, CSN, but I am putting is syllabus is still MSc till your CSN at syllabus. You are the exam which you will give is very beneficial for any exam, CSN net or anything. For CSN net full test, I will give you the full test in the end, in which you will have the options to leave. Part B will be there, part C will be there. That is a full test that will happen in the end. This test is useful for all the exams, net, gate, any exam. Okay. I have not put this exam by keeping gate in mind. I am putting it for keeping all of them in mind. Hello, sir. One subject here, topic complete. Hone ke baad, pehle uske assignment solve karne chahiye ya pehle PYQ. Sabse pehle uske PYQ plus quiz karna chahiye. Then aapko assignment karna chahiye. Agar maine kisi lecture mein bola hai, if I have told in any lecture, specifically do its assignment, it's very important. Then you can first focus on assignment. In some lectures, I have specifically mentioned that immediately after this lecture, do the assignment. Then you do that. Otherwise, it should always be recommended that first to complete your PYQ and quiz and then come to the assignment. Initially, I was not going to give you assignment. My plan was not to give you assignments. But then people asked, people thought, okay, before going to quiz, we should solve some questions. So then I started giving assignments. These assignments, honestly, I feel that it is for long term. That whenever you get to your time in revision, because once you do a revision, like we are doing revision, in this time, you will be needing more questions. So then assignment comes helpful. I have already given the formula sheet. I mentioned in the beginning of the lecture, I have uploaded the formula sheet in the mathematical physics section in the end. Just go there. The formula sheet is there. There is no tricks. Tricks I have already mentioned. That whatever it can be useful that I have already mentioned. Anything, any, any question? Okay. Uh, is it okay? Smile is not here today. Smile, are you are you not? Shivam came. Shivam Sataj is here or not? Yes, Bhaiya. Oh good. Yogananda is here. Okay. So this this recording yes, will be put. Yeah, good yoga. So this will be put up. So recording you can also see in your app. Uh, okay. You can see this recording in app. I will also upload it. Okay. So I think focus on it and uh, I just want to take one opinion from you. Is it okay if I start two subjects together? Is it okay if I uh, put EMT lectures and StatMac lectures together? Means you can go in sequence, but I will be putting them both. Is it okay with any memory? Okay. Because uh, I was thinking because I, I had to take five, six days leave in the end of the month. So I was thinking whatever we are going to cover at that time, we can, I can put that lectures before. So that, yes, that sir, it is fine. Okay. Good. Yes. Sir. Don't get confused. Okay. Ki, sir is putting two lectures. So we have to cover both of them in the same day. I'm just putting to complete the slips. Okay. Great. Okay, so best of luck, everyone. I think uh, let me stop the recording if any question is left.